Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to do a quick video today just to thank you for tuning in. I've noticed quite a few new subscribers and I'm really getting the sense that a lot of the people that are following me and um, becoming new subscribers to my channel are people that are very interested in DID, dissociation, whether you experience it yourself or you have a friend or a family member um, that may have some DID and dissociation. So welcome, thanks for the support. Um, I've gotten some great ideas from different comments on the content that people are interested in. So please feel free to, um, if there's a situation or something that you think might um, be appropriate to be addressed on a video, just let me know through the comment. Um, what I wanted to just briefly talk about today is when someone comes into therapy with me and we either the person already knows that they have um, some pretty significant dissociation and let's just call it DID okay just for the sake of this video um, they either come in knowing that or more often they don't know that um, and I, there's a process in educating someone as to how the brain uh, works on a continuum to protect us and we have that ability to uh, split off into different personalities if someone is going through complex trauma, usually as a child and it's usually ongoing. So the first step is education, um, kind of helping the person understand how it might be manifesting with them. The, the second thing I want to point out is for every single person I've ever worked with that has DID, everybody is different. Everyone experiences it um, in their own unique way. So to make a blanket statement is just not helpful at all. Um, what I will say, however, is I, I'm going to say, you know how you're not supposed to make assumptions. We know what that is. Um, makes an ass of you and me. But um, I am going to make an assumption and encourage you to also make this assumption that if you are working with or talking to someone that has DID and if it's you, <laughs> you're the person, let's make the assumption that all of the parts, all of the different personalities are paying attention. They can all hear, they can all experience things. Again, not always, but I really feel in this case it's safe to assume they are all listening in their own way. Um, this can be, uh, sometimes somebody will have a, a $100 reaction to a five cent problem and not really understand it and it's because a different part of themselves was hearing that and maybe not even on 2024 time, but on trauma time. So we're always making the assumption that, that all the parts can hear. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about very briefly, and if this is of interest, uh, please let me know, is switching. Sometimes I think people are confused with, well, how do we know that someone is switching? Like it has to be a big, almost like the trumpet sound, do, 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 we're switching. It, it's not like that. Sometimes it's, it's kind of a, a bigger, you might see bigger things like panic even. Um, but other times it's subtle and I can see it if I know somebody um, even one session of knowing somebody, I can, I can see it in the eyes. So you can see the eyes change very, very subtly. You can hear the voice shift very subtly. And this may not even be a full switching, but you know that there's another part right there. Sometimes there's body movements that go on. Um, sometimes people get more nervous acting, sometimes, like I just did. Um, sometimes it's, you know, kind of shaking, and sometimes it, it's very still. 
So I, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information and things to be mindful of that even if you may not think the person you're talking to is switching, they may be and you, you just don't um, recognize it as such. Um, so that, that's what I have today. Again, welcome and let me know if there's any uh, specific topic you'd like me to cover. Thanks.